So now I'm going to show you how to make a heat fixed bacterial slide uh, that you can then process for gram staining. It's important that you use aseptic techniques. So that means that the bacterial colonies that you're using are as pure as possible. And that means usually heat killing any, uh, any other bacteria, any pure, unpure bacteria that are on your loop or anything you've transferred and so we're going to be using a, a Bunsen flame today. Uh, it's important, a couple of things with the Bunsen flame. There's two different flames, as you probably know there's a yellow flame which isn't very hot and if you open the cowl here you get a nice hot blue flame. And so that blue flame is really hard to see and when there's a lot of noise around it's very hard to hear as well. So if you're not using this Bunsen burner you should set it back to yellow so it's much more obvious for people to uh, see and notice. And if you're not using this at all you should just turn it off at the, at the hose end. So uh, turn it off altogether. When you're actually using this for its function you're going to have to use the blue flame. And the hottest part of the flame, um, a lot of people try and heat up this loop right down here at the base and what you've got down at the base is unburnt gas. You can see that uh, the loop isn't going red hot. What you need to do is lift the loop up into the hot part of the flame where the gas is actually burning. So that's nice and hot there. It's about 1500 degrees so be very wary of this. So, back to yellow flame. Now, how do you make a streak plate? Well, first you're going to need a slide, as such. And you'll need to transfer a little bit of water onto that slide. And some water, uh, we can cool down the loop on there. I'd transferred about three loopfuls of water into the middle of that slide. So just tap it out, maybe four, three or four, put the lid back on. Uh, try not to talk over your water because that's probably just contaminated that water. Now you should burn that again, just to make sure you're not transferring any bacteria that could have possibly been in that water. That's very hot. so. Um, I'd cool it down on the on the agar, and to do that, just turn it so the lid faces up. Um, what you should do is protect the bacteria from any contaminants that are in the air by not completely taking the lid off, but just by using it as a shelter and putting your loop inside there. So cool down your loop on a naked piece of agar where there's no bacteria. Any bacteria that you touch while this loop is hot will die. Now, you want to um, just touch your loop to one of these bacterial colonies. You don't need very much at all. If you can see a scrape through your bacterial colony, then you'll know that you've picked up bacteria. For example, if I touch right here, you can see that a scrape has been introduced into that colony. Therefore, there's going to be plenty of bacteria on that loop. Now um, take that and put it into the water there. I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, a heat fix slide with two different bacterial colonies on, on here. So we've got one type of bacteria on here. If we're going to another bacterial colony you want to kill this one using a septic technique. It's nice and hot. Turn it back to the yellow flame. Let's pretend this is another type of bacteria. Again, cool it down on the agar. Again, only using um, the lid as only picking up a, a little bit. Now, just touch one of those bacterial colonies into the water and now here's a very important part you get that water and spread out all over the slide as far as you can 
you want to leave a little area so you can hold it so in a minute you'll dry all the water off with the Bunsen burner but spread this out probably at least three quarters of the way along the, the slide okay one last heating of the loop now this is really hot you don't want to put it down anywhere it's going to burn so a really good place is on the metal of the base of the Bunsen burner um, so the next step is to heat fix the bacteria to the slide because you're going to be washing all kinds of rinses over them in a minute uh, they're liquid they'll wash bacteria off so to heat fix the bacteria to the slide turn the Bunsen onto hot and just swipe it through that flame nice and quick every now and then just observe if the water's on there once you've got gotten rid of say 95% of the water then that's probably enough you should be able to see sort of white cloudy um, stain on on that slide all right so that's the Bunsen burner finished with we we'll turn it off and that's your heat fix slide one important thing that um, you should be aware of is the glass gets really hot you know putting it through a flame it gets really hot some people want to heat fix the other end of the slide and so we'll try and switch hands with it um, be aware that that will, will hurt you a lot and um, we'll probably end up with a hospital visit so be aware that's very hot you should place the slide down on the gram stain apparatus and prepare for gram staining this is the bacterial slide the heat fix slide once you've finished with it you should be able to see that there's sort of cloudy uh, smear all up and down the the slide that's the bacteria if you can't see that then uh, you may want to consider creating another slide